Hello, Ben here. Welcome back to another video featuring the TID Radio TDH3, and this time we're going to be programming using Chirp. So, to program using Chirp, then, um, first of all, we're going to use a USB to USB C cable in the side of the radio. So, I'm going to turn the TDH3 off open up the side and then plug the USB-C into the port there. Don't use the port in the bottom, that's just for charging I believe, so um, use the, the port in the side, um, make sure that's well plugged in and then we're going to plug the other end of the uh, USB cable into our PC or laptop. Okay, so then we can uh, switch the radio on And then we're going to go to uh, radio, download from radio, and we need to change the vendor to the TID radio. And then the model at the moment it's on, it's come up straight away with the TDH3. And if I, um, let's just try this. So I'll open the COM port up. So it's currently COM5 on mine. If I hit OK, um, It'll give you the prompts to check the radio is turned on, cables connected, all that sort of thing. If we hit OK, we'll get a fail to communicate with the radio. Uh, model mismatch, and you think, well, should be right because the TID radio and it is the TDH3. But I've got this one set in TID radio, TDH3 ham. So there always obviously is a difference. So if we hit ham uh, and then hit OK, OK again, um, there you go, that'll... Uh, that will read this time, so uh, that's that's read from the radio nicely, and yeah. So uh, if you've used chirp before, uh, this will be uh, nice and easy. We can just put your frequencies in there. So I'm going to put uh, just quite simply one four five five hundred, say, and we'll put a name in there. Um, we'll put, call that calling. Um, we don't need any uh, tone squelch or anything like that. Uh, we don't need any offset on there, so we can delete that. Uh, it's FM uh, power. It's given us options for power. Um, has it given us options? Don't know what's happening there. High, mid, and low. So this is the first time I've been able to find high, mid, and low options on the power. So let's try that as a mid power one because. Uh, Actually, in the menus itself, you've only got the options of high and low, and then even on the uh, app, I think on the Odd Master app, it's only got high and low as well. I might be wrong. We'll have to have a look at that. But um, uh, but yeah, so that's uh, that one. Why is it not letting me change the offset to zero? Let's try zero and that because I don't want any offset. There we go. And well, let's try also putting in a, an airband frequency as well. So I'm going to put in the local airport again 119350. Uh, uh, I'm going to call that outside of support range. OK. But it's not letting me do it. Let's see if there's another way of doing that. Yeah, it's not. It's only let me change between FM and FM narrow. So I'm not quite sure how we can put a. Uh, an AM frequency in there. Let's look at the settings and see if there's something in there that will allow us to do it. Uh, nothing in there I can see. Right, let's try again. What would allow us to put a... There's got to be something in the settings there. Strange. There is nothing that would suggest that it's going to let us use uh, AM mode there for some reason. So, yeah, that's an interesting one. I'm not quite sure how we're going to do that. What we'll do then, let's try putting in a, uh, a repeater frequency. So I'm going to put in 430.875. Um, that's going to be our local repeater. So I'll put uh, the uh, repeater's call sign in there. Uh, tone mode, what do we need in there? We don't need anything in that one, do we? Uh, we'll need, that'll be a duplex. Uh, we'll need an offset of 7.6 megahertz. There is a 
plus offset so let's set the offset to plus okay and then we'll need a CTCSS tone on there No, we don't want tone squelch, we want the actual tone, so let's turn that one off. In fact, we can have it on the same, that'll be okay, 94.8, and let's do the tone for 94.8 as well. Uh, there we go. Oh, let's change it from tone squelch to tones, so that's fine. So, oh, let's also put us in tone mode there, there we go. So, let's try and write that to the radio. So, radio, upload to radio. Um, yeah, so Comport 5, TID Radio, uh, TD H3 Ham, let's hit OK. OK again. There we go, and that's, uh, that should now be written to the radio. So let's change from uh, VFO mode uh, to channel mode. There we go, channel 1 is the uh, the call in channel that we put in there you can see there the name uh, and then channel 2 is our uh, local repeater so that's all seems to have worked uh, like I say what I haven't been able to suss out is how to put airband frequencies in there yet so uh, something we'll have to have a little play around anyway hopefully that was uh, reasonably helpful and uh, hit the subscribe button for more and then we'll catch you on the next one 73